recently got an email from a CFP peer of mine. He sent me a copy of a Reddit post. And it said, I lost over $450,000. I cannot pay the bank. I become homeless. Suicide is the only way. This uh, really desperately summarizes what was one of the top posts a few months ago on a Reddit forum for the cryptocurrency Terra Luna. Like other cryptocurrencies, it has recently lost more than 99% of its value. Now, over the past five years, I've written several columns and given a number of media interviews on the risks of speculating in cryptocurrencies. My most recent one generated a conversation with several of my financial planning peers about the recent crypto meltdown. One of them called my attention to the discussions about suicide on cryptocurrency forums where some members were posting suicide pr uh, prevention possibility of suicide over financial stress isn't something I've written about in 31 years as a personal financial columnist. Yet it ranks as a significant contributor in suicides, according to Professor Eric Elbigen from the Duke University of Medicine in Durham, uh, North Carolina, and he cited an article by Mar Maria Coet who's a PhD, PhD had appeared in the Medical News Today in September of 2020. And a quick Google search that I did produced a plethora of suicides connected to the crash in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. These people took their lives rather than face the intolerable pain and shame of losing everything they had financially, or at least the perception that they would. Uh, facing the humiliation of being homeless, um, being unable to care for themselves and their families, and unable to make good on the promises they made to prepaid creditors. The crash in cryptocurrencies is not a unique contributor to investor suicides. It just happens to be the financial crisis du jour. Many similar financial crises in history have resulted in people suffering catastrophic financial loss and taking their lives. After the 2008 economic crisis, rates of suicide increased by 5%. Uh, that was in uh, the European and American countries that they studied, particularly in men and in countries with higher levels of job loss. I think it's important to note that there does not have to be a widespread economic crisis for a person to have a personal financial crisis. All financial crises are personal, regardless of the current strength or weakness in the economy. Any severe change in one's finances, like the loss of a job, a major loss of value in an investment, a failure of a business, is a personal financial crisis that could result in taking one's life. Regardless of the specific cause of someone's personal financial crisis, the major reason for the severity of their crisis usually remains the same being heavily in debt, or being all in on one can't-miss investment opportunity or financial speculation. Chances are that you've never seen a headline about people taking their lives because of a 10% decline in their non-leveraged, diversified portfolio. As my father once told me, it's much harder to lose everything when you don't owe anyone anything. Professor Elbergen surveyed 34,653 adults in uh, 
2001, 2002 for the first time and then surveyed them again in 2004, 2005. This was a part of the National Epidemiologic Survey on Alcohol and Related Conditions. The study found that being in debt, facing a financial crisis, unemployment, past homelessness, and having lower income were each associated with suicide attempts. He found that people who have experienced all of these financial stressors could face a 20-fold higher risk of attempting suicide than individuals who have experienced no financial stress. 20 times. Now, a 20-fold increase of attempting suicide is something to pay attention to and to take very seriously. It emphasizes the spontaneity and impulsiveness of financial suicide. A significant distinction is one study found that half of all suicides are impulsive. My hunch is that um, financial suicide is even greater. These findings underscore the gravity of making a sound times money skills are quite literally survival skills.